Hello everybody, it's Maria here from Pepley Rose Paper Crafting. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Sydney, Australia. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to do some crafting therapy and um, I'll be using the Beautiful Day stamp set. This is a gorgeous stamp set you can find in the annual catalogue. It's been around for a little while but I only recently just got it so I'm quite um, excited to use this. I'm going to use the gorgeous butterfly and I'm going to use the 3D brick and mortar embossing folder. With this uh, butterfly I'm going to do some no line watercoloring with that but I'm not going to use actual watercolor uh, aqua pen or anything like that I'm going to be using my uh, watercolor pencils and a blender pen so we'll just get started with this card you're going to need a scrap piece of whisper white I've got a layering whisper white piece that goes on top of my card base um, my, my card base is basically half an A4 and scored in half again piece of Sahara Sand cardstock. This is a color I have not used for a very long time and it's actually quite a beautiful color. So I'm going to burnish the score line I have um, prepared earlier and just burnish that. And with the layering piece of cardstock, I'm going to emboss that straight away with the 3D embossing folder. So just grab that very quickly. I keep mine in the original packaging as much as possible. Uh, because I just like doing it. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to have the bricks going this way. And I love that it's six by six, so that allows you to put a whole card base. Um, yeah, it's really good. So I'll bring up my embossing folder. Sorry, my big shot. And this put it in and I'm going to use my 3D embossing plate and make sure it's within the platform and we are done with the embossing oh how gorgeous is that stunning I love that I love the 3D brick and mortar embossing folder very very um, versatile as well like you can use it for anything I'm just going to put this back in its place and then we'll get started on the stamping I'm going to bring out my Stamparatus and I'm going to bring out my piece of cardstock there And I'm going to put that butterfly right near here. And then I'm going to ink it up in Sahara Sand ink. But what I'll do first is I'm going to stamp off and then stamp on again. Um, so actually... I'll be back in a sec. I forgot to bring a piece of uh, scrap paper. Just bear with me. But a piece of just some scrap paper. And now what I'm going to do is just stamp on this just lightly. And then I'm going to use my scrap piece here. And I just want it a little bit lighter. Just so I can do my no line watercolouring. That still turned out quite dark. However, I don't mind that it's not 100%, um, you know, beautiful looking because I am going to colour over the top of it with my watercolour pencils and blender pen. So I'll take that off. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me. And so we will start the watercolouring. I'm just going to put this away so that way I don't lose my stamps because I have been known to do that. <laughs> I'm terrible. All right, so put my Stamparatus away and I'm going to bring out my watercolour pencils. Now, all the colours that I use with this um, project are Stampin' Up! equivalent colours, but I am using my Faber-Castell watercolour pencils. These are fantastic. Um, I absolutely love them. They work really well. Nice to blend and just lovely. 
Now the colours I'm choosing are inspired by the annual catalogue which I will bring out, just bear with me for one second and I really love the colours in this particular um, project that I've seen so didn't think to mark the page but there's a lot of beautiful goodies in the annual catalogue and with the mini out too sometimes we tend to forget about the annual catalogue so I thought it would be nice to give it some love um, it should be around here somewhere on page 131 of the catalogue, <laughs> sorry it took me a while, but I, I kind of really like those colours and um, so that's my inspiration but I will change it up just a tad um, and add a little bit more neutral in it as well. So what I'll do now is I'm going to start colouring. Whatever colour equivalents I will choose I will put it up on the screen and um, I'll have this uh, fast forwarded a bit and um, I will have music, so enjoy. now finished colouring in my butterfly it actually turned out nothing like the catalogue <laughs> but I'm, I'm glad um, it turned out different because that will complement um, the Sahara sand background and it still looks beautiful so what I'm going to do off camera is I'm actually going to cut this out with my silhouette cameo I did do a tutorial on this last week so I'm just um, re-blending this out I did a tutorial on this last week, or the last video I did earlier in the week actually, and um, I showed you how to um, use the silhouette with your scanner. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to scan this in and I'm going to cut it out. I could use scissors because it's not overly hard, but I do want to have the, um, the nice outline of the butterfly and make it look really pretty. So. Um, with that being said, I'm going to do all of that now off camera. I'm going to use my Silhouette Cameo and then I'll be back. So I have just finished um, scanning this and putting it up uh, and putting it on my Silhouette. So now I'm just going to take off the page here. And I'll just take this off the sticky mat. And that was using my Pick Scan mat. And that is my die cut or machine cut now image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this down. 
and I love the way that turned out. So if you have the means of um, using say our brother scanning card or your silhouette cameo, I say take advantage especially for stamps that don't have dies and unfortunately that stamp set does not have a set of dies. If it had a set of dies I'd use them but since it doesn't I'm going to use what I have and take advantage of my uh, equipment. Why not? So otherwise it's wasteful I think. If you don't use what you have it's wasteful. <laughs> this is a good excuse to use everything that you have. Alright so I've just reburnished that um, that score line there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to add the butterfly right in the middle of that um, card. I'm going to leave it blank from a sentiment but this stamp set has beautiful um, sentiment. It says always thinking of you. Happy birthday. May your day be as beautiful as you. I think it's beautiful and it's got some use that as a background thing or to even add an accent onto your butterflies whatever you wish so it's a beautiful stamp set so I'm going to grab my dimensionals and I'm going to stick this up on those and I'll add one more in the middle and that will do me Now I'll just press down onto the backings on the dimensionals and that way it makes it easy for you to pull them off. It's a hot day here in Sydney, it's going to be 36 degrees Celsius, so nice and hot. So everything's a little bit stickier than usual. Alright, so now I'm going to pop this in the middle here. You can have this to the side. That will look pretty too, but I'm going to have mine in the middle because it is the main feature for me. And pop that down. And that is my finished card for today. I'll give you a close up look of it and on the side. I hope you like today's tutorial. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to leave me a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And um, please like, share and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I would like to thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. So the products I used today are all available in my online store at pebblyrosepapercrafting.stampinup.net if you wish to use it. But I found this very therapeutic um, using uh, making a card. It just makes this uncertain world that we're living in at the moment a little bit more bearable <laughs> and um, yeah so also use the Sahara sand ink if you wish to purchase any of those so um, yeah I think it's important to keep yourselves happy and do what makes you happy um, and if crafting makes you happy why not and creating is a lot of fun so I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial Give me the thumbs up, let me know, <laughs> and um, I hope to see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.